what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And, uh, sitting here looking at what's going on with Zack Snyder's Justice League. Right here it says, critic scores revealed for Zack Snyder's Justice League. And I was like, all right, now let's see what this shit's about. So it says, critic reviews for Zack Snyder's Justice League, which will stream on HBO Max, have been released on Rotten Tomatoes. The tomato meter critic score currently sits at 75% with 71 fresh reviews and 24 rotten reviews with an average of 6.70 out of 10. Wow. But at least that motherfucker's at a 75 and hopefully rising. Should be rising. Because all I heard was good things about it. I wonder what the fuck was going on with that 24%, but... <sighs> Well, I tell you now, with the way people be shilling, you never know, man. You never know. Here's what some critics are saying. John DeFore at The Hollywood Reporter gives it a rotten review. He writes, even a good superhero flick, and this definitely isn't, shouldn't be this long. You know what? That's the thing. I keep hearing that people are going to be complaining about the, about the runtime. I mean, if that motherfucker's four hours long, people are wondering why. Look, if he has to sit there and stuff this fucking movie... With whatever he has to do to tell this story, and he's given basically the ultimate director's cut of this shit, and I actually, uh, uh, ultimate director's cut might be in the works. Why? Just for the simple fact that, from what I've heard, this movie is actually a five-hour movie that's been cut down to four hours. So, there might be, <laughs> there might be still a little bit more of something to uh to show for later. But for now, we have this four hour cut, and it seems like people just can't handle it. It's like damn, it's like fucking gone in the wind. You know, it's like an old movie like that. It's like shit. They used to have intermissions. That's why he had put the intermissions in the movie. So that he could respect the people that has to go get popcorn, you know, go get something to drink, get their dick sucked, you know, that kind of shit. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just fucking with y'all, but y'all, you know, y'all get the drift, you know what I'm saying? So, shit. It is what it is. Now, you got bitch-ass Scott Mendelson. Oh, this motherfucker here is such a fucking... Flake, if I've ever seen one, at Forbes gives a film a 6 out of 10, he writes. The film is dragged out and redundant to a comical degree, but the much improved action finale and the emphasis on Ray Fisher's cyborg make it worth seeing and worth the fuss. Wow. So he, com so he shits on it and compliments it all in the same, that's just like his bitch ass, Scott Mendelson. This motherfucker here is something else. Philip DeSemillion at Time Out gives the movie a 2 out of 5. He writes, it's all a bit hashtag release the deleted scenes. Wow, that's pretty fucked up to say. And that's not even what this is, but you let a motherfucker that don't know shit tell it, right? Richard Lawson at Vanity Fair gives the film a fresh score. He writes, while there's going to be much debate both leading up to and after the release of Zack Snyder's Justice League, no one can deny the chasm in quality between Snyder's and Whedon's vision. Yeah, there you go. At least he gets to see that, hey, there's a there's a vast difference. And you can see the quality in the difference. Shit, that's, uh, all right. That's what's up. Let me see. Kirsten Acuna at Insider gives a score B plus. She writes... This movie was willed to life by the fans and made for the fans who will leave this film largely satisfied and hungry for more. More than three years later, justice is served. Fuck yeah, man. That's that's the truth, man. Boy, I couldn't tell you how much I put released the Snyder Cut, you know, in, in my tweets, you know, over time, man. I mean, shit, you really have die hard people that were, you know, were donating money coming up with all kind of uh, ways to spread the message. I mean, you know, those people are the real heroes of, of all this. All, you know, all bullshit aside. I mean, it's, it's, they, uh, 
they went above and beyond and hopefully hopefully the people that fought for it would definitely uh, hopefully they get to enjoy it is all i'm saying hannah woodhead at little white lies gives the film a two out of five she writes snyder's justice league is over long miserable and signifies nothing other than the potential of fandom to influence top level creative decision making oh please whack ass bitch negative ass carahan at slate gives the film a fresh review she writes snyder's justice league is more 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 in a way that most films wouldn't dare and after a year of no theaters at all to see more movies that commit so completely to a vision that it's impossible not to be swept away wow that's yeah well it makes me want to see it more jordan farley at total film gives the movie a three out of five he writes though suffering from his own shortcomings Zack snyder's gargantuan justice league is a commendable improvement on the widely derided original stock up on the snacks uh well three out of five is not bad man would rather have a four out of five or a five out of five but three out of five take that all day darren franich at entertainment weekly gives the film a c minus he writes this cut is no worse than the theatrical edition, but it sure is longer. What a fucking hater. That's bullshit. Let me see. Joshua Rivera at Polygon, uh, go figure, right? Gives a film a rotten score. He writes, Zack Snyder Justice League is remarkably uninterested in people. What the fuck you mean? What people? Its heroes are gods with no believers. Walking nuclear weapons that have deemed... To prevent Earth from destruction. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here, man. Well, that's, that's some stupid shit. Let me see. Metacritic. Over at Metacritic, the film has a score of a 52 from 31 reviewers. With 9 positive reviews, 17 mixed reviews, and 5 negative reviews. Oh, shit. 17 mixed. 9 positive and 5 negative. Fuck. Well, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Owen Gleiberman at Variety gives the film a 90. He writes, the new movie, and make no mistake, it really is a new movie, is more than a vindication of Snyder's original vision. It's grand and immersive entertainment, a team of heroes origin story, that at heart is classically conventional, yet it's now told with such an intoxicating childlike sincerity and omnibus fairy tale wonder that it takes you back to what comic books at their best have always sought to do, make you feel like you're seeing gods at play on earth. Hmm. Wow. Matt Zoller Seats at robertebert.com gives the movie in 88. He writes, it's so bombastic that it makes Batman be Superman during the justice seem modest. <laughs> oh shit. That's interesting. Huh. I, I can't wait to see it. I want to see why he why <laughs> I want to see why he said that. Brian Lowry at CNN gives a movie an 80. He says it's a fascinating exercise and superior to his predecessor, but clocking in at four hours, the operatic highs are somewhat offset by the lack of any pressure to say cut. I see what he's saying, but Shit, that's the thing. He had to tell the whole story. Hell, and that's another thing, too. I keep hearing how this movie ends on a cliffhanger. But what people don't understand is he had to do everything he can to put it into it right now. Like, it, like basically, it's all or nothing. So, he either makes this movie and does it to where he can get it all out. If this is going to be a one and done. But at the same time, he left it open to where if there's a, any chance... That he'll, he can get the opportunity to make a sequel, it'll be there for the taking. So, I understand it. And pe what people don't understand is, why is it so long? Well, shit. How well, how, so, you wanted him to tell half of the story. It took for all this to tell the story. So, you wanted him to cut this down eh, to maybe an hour and a half or two hours? So, what? In hoping that you would get the other half some other time? There was going to be no other half, no, no any other time. That was it. Like, this is all it. And the only thing I could see coming from this 
is possibly an ultimate director's cut where, like I said, he has five hours. He puts that extra hour in. I could, I could see them selling that. I could see them putting that out. You give it about another year or two, boom, ultimate director's cut at that. So he put it all out there on the table and that's it. Tom Jurgensen at IGN gives the movie an 80. He writes, Zack Snyder's Justice League is a surprise vindication for the director and the fans that believed in his vision. With a mature approach to his superhero drama, better realized antagonists, and improved action, Snyder's version of the Justice League saves the movie from the dustbin of history. Wow. <laughs> Shit. That lets you know that when Zack Snyder's put his hands back on this movie... It pulled that shit out of obscurity. It pulled it straight out of shit. Boy, boy, boy. Let me see Peter Bradshaw at The Guardian. Oh, boy. <laughs> he gives it an 80. He writes, Snyder's film may be exhausting, but it is engaging just as it served. All right. All right, at least he wasn't fuck-faced about it. I got you. Clip Worthing at Consequence of Sound gives the movie a 67. He writes, it's rough, messy, and overlong, but may well capture the well-intended spirit of what it's trying to do better than the compromised version we got at release. It may even be something I revisit in the future, just maybe not all in one sitting. But damn, is that really why you would give it a 67? Is because you couldn't just sit there for four hours? You didn't go to a theater, so basically... You were at home watching the shit. You couldn't have hit pause. So you, he gave you breaks. You could have went to go take a shit or whatever. I mean, what? <sighs> this motherfucker, man. Bilge Ebery at Vulture gives the movie a 60. He writes, the Snyder Cut has its share of problems. When you get to the best of Snyder, you also get the worst. But it's an undeniably passionate and moving work. It earns itself importance. But damn, but you gave it a 60. <sighs> yeah, all right. Matt Singer at Screen Crush gives the movie at 60. He writes, For long stretches, Zack Snyder's Justice League feels more like a rough assembly than a director's cut. It appears to include every single shred of footage Snyder shot, no matter how superfluous to the story, it will absolutely delight the hardest of hardcore Snyder heads. I'm not sure how more casual viewers will react to a longer and bleaker version of the same movie they already saw and disliked. Ah, oh, what a dickhead. That's some whack shit. <laughs> I, mean, I don't even understand why people think it's the same shit. Alonzo Duralde at the rap gives the movie a 55 he writes Zack Snyder's superhero movies are like the black licorice of cinema those who like the taste can't understand why everyone doesn't and those who don't like the taste grimace at the thought and now the streaming wars and online clamor have bought us Zack Snyder's Justice League it's four hours of black licorice wow that's some really fuck shit to say dumbass May Abdubaki at Screen Rant gives the movie a 50. They write. Why would why would why would they put they write? Oh, so that's because they go as a, a, a they them. <laughs> oh shit. Despite everything, it has its fair of shining moments. There's a clear direction Zack Snyder's Just League has that the 2017 version of the film does not. And for that alone, viewers can appreciate this film a whole lot more because of it. Yeah. You could understand that, but you gave him a 50. Maya Phillips at the New York Times gives the movie a 30. Damn. That's so fucked up. A fucking 30? She writes, hope isn't manufactured. It can't be limited to a shadow of a gesture or shouldered by one man whose extraordinary ability are heralded in the super of his name and is definitely not the cinematic equivalent of a four hour long cutscene. Wow, that's some pretty fuck shit. Pat Brown at Slant gives the movie a 25. Wow. He writes, the film could be taken as an intentional travesty of the superhero genre, only if it wasn't so torturously tedious. Damn. That motherfucker there just shitted on this motherfucker. Zack Snyder Just League arrives on HBO Max in three days. So... 
Yeah, what do y'all think about uh what you've heard of some of these critic scores? Uh, what do you think how some of these people judged this movie? Do you think they were too harsh? Do you think that they could have given it a second chance? Do you actually believe that this four-hour runtime is something that's affecting how these movie reviewers are actually looking at this movie? Uh, like I said, y'all let me know what you think in the comment section below. Me, I understand Okay, four hours may be long for some people, but if you understand movies, movies used to be four hours long. So it's not something that's unheard of. It's just something that people aren't doing now. The thing is, these people are not at the theater. They're at home. They had, a, you know, I heard that they have um, breaks within the movie itself, which they could have gotten up and done something. Plus, I heard you can also pause the fucking shit. And run off and do some things. So if there, if there's some if it's something that you could you had to watch, and you had some shit to do, and then come back and watch it some more, you could have done that. But with some people, of course, they want to sit down. Okay, it's four hours long. Let me sit here, watch it, and be done with it. Yeah. At the same time, though, believe it or not, all bullshit aside, the same way you have people that would sit there and give fake ass video game reviews they'll sit there review the shit only played maybe an hour of the game 20 minutes 30 minutes and they sit there and give a whole review and barely even touch the game now you have people that are going to sit here all bullshit aside everybody didn't sit here for no four hours people knew that it was a four hour movie they got fed up with the shit about within the first hour or two. Shitted on the rest of it. So, basically what I'm saying is, you got a lot of people that probably didn't sit here for the whole four hours. They probably fucked around and lied. Because they probably sat through 30 minutes or an hour and felt like this is probably 30 minutes to an hour too long and just wrote their fucking review. And just said, hey, I sat here for four hours. I was bored as fuck. I didn't like it. The sit seems redundant. Same old shit. Yada, yada, yada. Boom, 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 and boom, here goes my review. So, but you know, I'm looking forward to Jeremy Johns and a lot of other people's reviews, uh, Andy Signore's, and, you know, a few other folks. I'm ready to see what people got to say about this shit, and hopefully, uh, I'm ready to see what uh, Angry Joe, <clears throat> Ryan Cannell, what uh, Doomcock, Gary, asked from Heels vs. Babyface, Ready to see what Midnight's Edge, my boy Stone Loki from Loki's Mornings of Mischief. You know, I'm ready to see what my boy Fat Steven Seagal has to say about it. Uh, my boy Clobberin' Times, my boy Mexican Iron Man. You know, I'm ready to see uh, what Yeti Cass and Eris and Chaos. You know, my girls Purple Valkyrie and Sammy Joe, Rise and Shine with the Valkyries. I want to see what they have to say. So when all of them, plus everybody at Friday Night Tights. You know, along with world-class bullshitters and Echo Base Network and everybody else, when everybody else chimes in on this, those are the reviews that count. Geeks and Gamers, their review is going to be important. I want to see what Uche got to say about this. You know, my nerdy home. Man, Mama Bear. I, I want to see what everybody got to say about this, so... Like I say, these uh, these those are going to be the reviews that are going to be important. Why? Because they're coming from the fans, not from the critics. That you don't know who the fuck's genuine or who the fuck's bought and paid for. I'm talking about by the true fans. Ain't nobody paying us to review this shit, so I'd rather take it from them. So, like I say, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this shit in the comment section below. Please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 with 24-7 Fusion Media, and I'm out. Peace.